In this video, I would like to go over the best video players to use for HDR content on a Mac. Unfortunately, there are only two options. QuickTime and the Apple TV app. Since QuickTime and Apple TV perform the same, I'll only be using QuickTime in my comparisons. Have you seen the movie The Dark Knight? I hope so, because I'm going to be showing scenes from that movie. Note that screenshot on Mac does not capture an HDR, so highlights are clipped. The first comparison is going to be VLC versus QuickTime, with VLC on the left and QuickTime on the right. As you can see, the video on VLC is completely washed out. It is HDR tone mapped to SDR. VLC on Mac does not support HDR playback. Well, what about a video player that does support HDR? This comparison was a bit more tricky to do. The issue with every other player besides QuickTime and TV Plus on Mac for dark scenes is that the level doesn't actually go to zero. The black floor is raised and there are artifacts where it's supposed to be completely black. However, when I attempt to take a screenshot of this or screen record, the same issue appears on QuickTime or the Apple TV app. Therefore, I had to resolve to taking a photo with my iPhone. In this image, I'm comparing the end credits of The Dark Knight. On the right, QuickTime handles it perfectly by showing a full black screen. On the left, however, we have severe artifacts. It's unfortunate that QuickTime does not support MKV file playback. If you have an HDR video in MKV, you have to convert it to an MP4 or MOV file. I recommend using Subler. I've linked the tutorial I personally use in the description. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, a comment, and possibly share it with your friends.